Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you're coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Oh, God. What happened here? Hold ship to switch weapons with your squad. I like this weapon. Maybe we should check on Jenkins. Um, use V to use uh, Meta Gel to heal your squad. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. Gain a lot of bodies. In levels, use the squad screen to improve your I'll team's abilities. You press escape. Site. Access the squad screen. The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over a talent or its rank to view it. Hmm, click on a talent to spend a talent point. Oh, okay. play infiltrator love being the sniper <laughs> that's why i picked it because <laughs> i'm the damn rogue all the time i'm either a rogue or a paladin all the time which is why i'm probably gonna play yeah yeah that's like i'm usually a rogue or a paladin or like a rogue paladin mixture 
which is why when Baldur's Gate 3 comes out, I'm probably gonna throw it out there saying, hey guys, do you want me to play a pure bard with maybe some paladin levels? Or do you want me to go paladin rogue mixture again? That's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. By the way, I can't wait for BG3 to come out. Okay, so we're at level two now. Okay, so this is Echo. Sell it more with slash pensions, Pally. <laughs> oh, that would be. Oh boy. No, bard. Bard. Not barb. Not barbarian. Bard. My favorite class, bard. But that does sound like an interesting mixture. Um, I her, sorry. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. A lot of people say barb and bard, and it's literally one letter difference, and they both will sound exactly the same. Uh, sabotage or load first aid. Build up on pistols and sniper rifles by 5%, increases the tech mine explosion damage of sabotage overload. Charm. Uh, shields increases the amount of mm, hole restored when you repair a vehicle, lets you use the electronic skill to repair. Okay. Description increases the amount of. Mining gel recovered lets you use the decry uh, decryption skill to open uh, secure objects. Grants the sabotage ability. Oh god. <laughs> I'm just max out charm, okay. Okay, charm option, options and conversations will be uh, grayed out if you do not have a high enough skill rank. New skill ranks will unlock when you become a specter and as you earn paragon points. Paragon points. I should do. Hmm, so space bar. Yeah, apparently space. No space road. <laughs> sort of. Anyways. <clears throat> Anyways. That's what it would do? Huh. Accuracy and damage with pistols grants marksmanship mm, ability. Can't change anything of that? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. 
Okay then. Use left shift to issue orders to your squad or use Z attack target. Q or E have specific squad mate he move to a certain point. Do I have, like, unlimited ammo with this thing? That was brutal. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? You okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns, nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh man, we were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Thanks, sir. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Okay. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 oh, was, was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. 
Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. Okay, press escape to go to the squad screen and spin points. Gotcha. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Change your team's equipment, press the escape button. Okay. The equipment screen allows you to equip up and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter tab to switch items. Click an item and click on it. Okay, click and equip and equip items. Upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Click the Omni Gel button to break down selected on into Omni Gel. Active rounds. I guess that's around here. Oh. Press left mouse button to fire. Radio rounds. If you don't kill them, <laughs> if you if you don't kill them, the cancer will, right? What am I aiming at? Okay, so I can't pick up loot from dead body. Gotcha.
What did I pick up? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Uh, okay. That man was still alive when they stuck him on the spike. Killing us isn't enough. The Geth want us to suffer. Okay, there we go. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Cybernetic minions. Ooh. Ew. left behind, Chad. Engaged. Well, let's see how this is done. Okay, some locks objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has a required talent, you'll be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending OmniJet. Advance to the central core, move the mouse, uh, move the mouse to uh, move around the ring, left click and right click to move inward and outward. Avoid the security programs. Simple. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. 
The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, a cult please, member. this isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. I can shut him up. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. <laughs> Good luck, Commander. <laughs> I'm a dick. <laughs> I didn't actually did not expect him to like try and hit him. A new cure for insanity, just sucker punch them. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. What is that? Off in the distance. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Um, I'm supposed to be able to... Right. I mean... Yeah, do you think I'd be able to actually, like... Yoink. That, that's not what I wanted. Uh, you let me go. You let me like. 
to snuggle up to that rock, but you wouldn't let me snuggle up to this. 